Hey guys, Hedon here, and we're back home again at 500. So this is the first episode where we're back again with the weekly Hedon's Weekly, powered by 500. I gotta tell you guys, it feels utterly amazing to be back home with 500 again. So we're gonna have a lot of fun things coming, special promotions for big tournaments, betting predictions, a lot of amazing streams, case openings, you name it. It's gonna be a blast over the next year, so we're super excited for that. If you guys remember Hitos Weekly, it's about, you know, things happening, especially within the CS scene, behind the scenes, uh, analysis on team transfers, on tournaments, and we're also going to have, you know, a, a bigger video coming before every major event. And we have the first one coming this Sunday, which is uh, for I Am Dallas, actually. One of the teams that's closest to my heart, or the closest team to my heart, is NIP. And we have NIP just um, went through another roster change and adding Isaac to the roster and, uh, and putting up Maxter from uh, their academy team to their main team. If you look at NIP's team at the moment, you have Alex, you have Wrinkle, you have Isaac, you have um, Res, and you have Maxter. You know, Maxter is probably the, um, how can you say, the guy with most potential in the team. I think it's going to be a new superstar. Uh, but he probably needs at least a year before he's there. Wrinkle is kind of a wild card. What I like with Wrinkle is that he's very aggressive. It doesn't matter if you lose three or four duels. He, he, he still goes aggressive for the shots. And I, I, I like that a lot with Opper. If he can just get, um, uh, I mean, a bit more stable in his fragging. Because he's very on and off. It, it can be really good. You have Rest, who's honestly haven't... He's one of my favorite players. But Rest haven't been Rest in over two years. He has, you know, uh, one game here, one game there, we will recognize him like the old school Res, but Res really needs to put in the hours and get back in shape, because I don't see him being around in the team for much longer otherwise. I mean, I'm guessing they will give this team at least until the end of the year, but Res needs to deliver. He has it in him. He's so freakishly good mechanically. Uh, if you look at Isaac, great player. Very solid. He plays uh, very much, you know, not for himself, but for the team to win. He's a very good anchor, very good support player. Uh, I like him a lot. And we have Alex. Alex is, I mean, he's been stepping up on the individual level during the last events. Can't judge too much from them since they're a new team. We had this uh, rose to change within the management of NIP. We have Threat coming back, adding easy tag for some, I don't know, reason, and Alex. And then we have Exist coming in after that. Exist is the best pickup NIP has done since adding device. Thumbs up on that one. Exist is an amazing coach. It, it was a big topic for, for a very long time. Who's going to be the, the last player in NIP? We, we had uh, uh, X Kaspersky and Blue Phoenix etc. standing in during Pro League. Actually did a really good job for being youngsters. Uh, but but uh, we had the rumors like the three main ones that, that I considered for a role was JKS. Uh, Heavy God and, and Isaac, uh, and they went with Isaac. But, but, a, but a fun side note to all of this is that NIP were actually close to uh, have an agreement with Heavy God, according to rumors. I, I think the difference between Heavy God and Isaac is uh, Heavy God has a bit more uh, firepower, but Isaac is a better teammate, so I think both options are fine. So we, we have I am Dallas starting. Uh, no NIP in that tournament, but it's a lot of good teams. Uh, I think most notably we, is that we have Stuart 2K standing in for Stuart 2K in game leader. Well, I, I'm assuming that Nico or possibly even Nexa will take the role, both competent in game leaders. I, I think that Stuart, even though has been uh, inactive for a while, is it, going to bring a lot more firepower to the team. And I don't think that Hooksy is the right guy for G2. Honestly, having Hooksy and Nexa in the team, they don't have enough firepower. Hooksy is... Uh, I like him, but he's not the best fit for G2. I don't see G2 performing very good in any future tournaments with this lineup, unfortunately. Even though having Monesi, arguably one of the best or the best player in the world right now, together with Nico, who's playing some, some good CS again. Uh, so, we have three betting predictions for uh, I Am Dallas starting. And first off, we have uh, Falcons. Versus G2. Falcons, I mean, they're, they've they been struggling a bit, but they're starting to get a groove on. And they can have a stand-in in G2. So Falcons at 2.35, money line. It's, it's a very good odds in my book, which I'm going to play myself. Uh, I think they have good chances of winning. 
So we have Navi versus Big playing in uh, in the first uh, matchup as well. I, I do believe like Big online should be better with Sirison. Sirison is a good addition in my book at least, but Navi is a lot better team. And having Navi minus two and a half rounds handicap to uh, 165, that's really good odds. Taking any day of the week, I think they're going to win this match pretty comfortably. All right, so uh, these are two betting predictions for the event starting. Uh, we'll be back next week again, or actually we'll be back this uh, Sunday with a special episode with more outrights and predictions coming in and analyzing the tournament. We have a really good one with, uh, with Mouse winning two straight finals, 3-0. We're going to get into details about that on the video we're releasing on Sunday. Thank you so much for, love for watching, everybody. Have a lovely day. See you soon.